Why almost all trucks use inline-six engines? Most car manufacturers who produce cars with lots of horsepower use V6, V8, V10, or even V12 engines. But why is it that these massive trucks pulling massive weights almost only use inline-six engines? That's exactly what we're going to cover in this video. Over the years, the various truck manufacturers have offered a broad variation of truck engines, from V12 engines to V10 and V8s. But today, it does not matter whether it is the European brands, such as Mercedes, Volvo, MAN, and DAF, or whether it is the American brands, such as Peterbilt, Kenworth, Mack, or Freightliner, they all have in common that they use inline-six engines. But there is more than one reason for this, so let's look at them. Performance and Power Have you ever been asked how many horsepower your truck or car has? Which is the general measure of an engine's power. But trucks really don't need that many horsepower. Rather, it is the amount of torque the engine is able to produce that is important to haul the massive loads. Torque is a rotating force produced by the engine's crankshaft. The more torque produced, the greater its ability to perform work. This is where the big inline-six engine has one of its strengths, as it can produce great amount of torques, which is measured in newton meter in EU and as pound-feet in the US. The strongest inline-six engine is the Volvo D16K with 750 horsepower and 3550 newton meters. But most inline-six engines sold have around 440 to 600 horsepower which is more than enough for the majority of all transport, taking the various countries' weight restrictions into consideration. Since there is a big focus on CO2 emission and the amount of exhaust gases that are emitted by various governments, all engine manufacturers try to make their engine the most fuel efficient and emit as little CO2 as possible. There is therefore no reason to go up in a larger engine size when you can extract the necessary torque from an inline-six engine. Weight and Maintenance Some countries have stricter weight requirements than others, and the more your truck weighs, the less you can load. Therefore, the weight of the engine is also one of the reasons why truck manufacturers use inline-six engines and not, for example, V10 or V12 engine, which are significantly heavier. Another even more important reason for the manufacturer to go with the inline-six engine is the maintenance. There is two, four, or six less cylinders to lubricate and maintain on an inline-six engine compared to V8, 10, and 12 engines. Also, inline-six engines peak with lower reps than V8 engines, which results in less wear and tear on the engine, and thus can also run longer on the same amount of engine oil. An inline-six engine is therefore more efficient with fuel consumption, and it is cheaper to service and maintain. No size restrictions on trucks One of the reasons that V-engines are popular in cars is that they don't take up that much space, as the V-shape fits in the short hoods of a car. But trucks are already big and long, so there is plenty of space for bigger and longer engines, as the inline-six engine is six cylinders in length, where a V8 is only four cylinders long. Also, the inline-six is naturally balanced, which produces a smoother power generation and minimal internal vibrations. On a V8 engine, the force of the pistons doesn't cancel each other out, which can create an unbalanced engine. Simplicity and Easy Access An inline-six engine is not nearly as complex as a V8 and has fewer parts, and thereby there is fewer parts to break and maintain. As an example, there is only one exhaust manifold on an inline-six engine, but two on a V8. Also, there are fewer valve train parts and bigger bearings for improved lubrication on the inline six, which improves the reliability of the truck, which is of great importance to truck owners who cannot earn money when their truck is in the workshop. Pricing The fact that the V8 engine is larger, has more cylinders and components, means that the price is typically somewhat higher both to produce and therefore also for the haul ear. So, you must really have a need for the bigger engine, or good finances before you go out and spend more money on this engine, which also typically has higher fuel costs and is more expensive to service and maintain. This means that many go with the cheaper and more efficient inline-six engine, as the total cost of the truck is paramount to the existence of many companies. The Conclusion 
The conclusion on why almost all truck manufacturers produce inline six engines is because they are able to produce the needed torque, they are CO2 efficient, cheaper to maintain, they are weight optimized, use less fuel, have a great engine balance, have fewer parts, and are cheaper to produce. All in all, a more economical engine on several parameters. But now you might be wondering, if the V8 engine is so bad, how come Scania has manufactured over 170,000 V8 14-liter engines and that it has existed for over 50 years? Well, click above and see why Scania created the V8 engine and has kept it through all these years. But what about the future? So today, the best-selling engine is an inline-six diesel engine with an HP range of around 440 horsepower to 600 horsepower. But more and more types of engines are developed, everything from gas to electric and hydrogen engines. The constant pursuit of truck manufacturers' emissions of CO2 pushes them to go in new and different ways. No one knows what the solution will be, but it will be exciting to see what the truck engine of the future will look like and whether it will run on diesel, electricity, or something else entirely. What do you think? Share it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe for much more.